Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we've got a fun one, we're going to be drawing a bull's head. So get yourself some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with the bull's horns. So just drawing a line going across, but it's going to be slightly curved. So you curve down, curve up, curve down again, and it curves up at the end, at the two ends, okay? Doesn't have to be that accurate, don't worry. And draw lightly in pencil because we're going to rub this out. Okay, next, towards the bottom of the page, we're going to be drawing an oval shape, which is going to be the mouth area. So, round about here, just lightly in pencil, just draw an oval shape, just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mine certainly isn't, as you can see. <laughs> so, there we go, a rough oval shape. We're now going to draw two lines going upwards. So, starting from here and starting from here, we're just going to draw lines going upwards. You can use a ruler if you like, but it doesn't have to be that accurate. So one line going up like that, one line going up like that. Okay, now we're going to draw two curved lines on either side. So just a little bit further down from where we drew that line, just here. I'm going to be drawing a curved line coming up like that and the same on the other side. Exactly the same, just curved line going outwards here and coming inwards here. Now we're going to join them up by doing a flat part on top. Okay, so now we've got the head. Remember, if I'm going too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, so next. This section, we're going to chop it in half. So measuring from the top and the bottom of this section, just about here. We're going to be drawing another curved line. So, curves up at the ends. Just like that. Okay, fantastic for getting this far. We're going to add the eyes. There we go, starting to take shape. We're going to add a mouth. So just down here, the little smiley mouth, and then an apostrophe shape and a reverse apostrophe shape, just like that. So there we go. I'm going to be drawing a line coming down here, just like so. And now we're going to put in the ears. So just here from this line that we did across, that's going to be the bottom part of the ears. So just an ear coming out like this and an ear coming out like this. I think I made that one a little bit too long. So let's chop it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're just going to finish off the horn. So just a line coming up like this and a line coming up like that. And that's the end of stage one. Okay, so carry on in pencil, but I'm just going to do it in pen just so you can see it better on camera. Okie dokie. So we're going to start off with perfecting the nostrils. So nice big shape like this. And the same on the other side. Nice big shape like this. It comes out a little bit. It comes out a little bit more like this. Okay, now we're just going to draw the shape of the nose. So, following that guideline that we did before, just go round the nostrils all the way down until you get to the mouth. Go along at the mouth, then go upwards again and round the nostril. We're going to add in another line, just one like that. Okay, next we're going to add in the lower lip. So. We're going to start off here at the bottom. We're going to go round and up. We're going to go upwards like this, up a bit higher, 
and across. And then the same on this side. Go upwards, just like this. And then across and just a little line, not quite connecting them, but just one just there. We're now going to just make the mouth a little bit darker. There we go. Excellent. So this bull is actually an adult male cow. That's what we call them. Okie dokie. So going upwards from here, we're going to be drawing part of the cheeks. So go upwards like this. And then the same on the other side. Try and keep it symmetrical. But don't worry if it's not 100% symmetrical. Next, we're going to do the eyes. We're going to focus on these wonderful bovine eyes. So starting on this one, we're going to be drawing a line going upwards. Like that. Then we're going to be drawing another line. Coming around. Like that. One line for the eyelid like so, and then one for the eyeball. Now we're just going to do the beautiful long lashes. So wonderful long lashes like that. And we're just going to color in the rest of the eye, just like so. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So starting off with this line that goes upwards like this. Then one that goes across like that. And then the eyelid that comes down. Beautiful lashes. And then the eyeball. And then just leave some, just a little gap there in white, just so that we can tell that there's a reflection of the light. Okay, now we're going to draw the rest of the cheek. So from the bottom of the eye, Going to come out slightly and round from the bottom of this one to the bottom of the eye. Okay, now we're going to carry on. So starting just at the bottom of the eye again, we're going to come up, out slightly, in where the horns go, and then the same on the other side. So starting here, go up, inward slightly, and now we're going to do just some fur on the top, just like this. There we go. Now we're going to do the ears. So just bring a line around like so. And then just some fur and then some fur on the inside, just like that. And then the same on the other side. I'm actually going to start a little bit lower here because I think I did it too high in the preparatory drawing. There we go. And then some furry bits on the inside, just like that. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to do the horns. So a line coming all the way out. I'm going to bring it a little bit further and it's going to come upwards a little bit more. Okay, did you know that cattle are red and green colorblind? I didn't know that when I was researching this project. I found that out. Okie dokie, so bring it out and upwards. Okay, now we're actually going to be drawing a line coming straight down from this. And it's going to go inwards like that. Same on this side. Line coming downwards and going inwards. Now we're going to finish this off. Another line coming around on the end and another line coming around on this end. There we go. Okay, so now you can go over it in pen if you haven't done so already and we can rub out the preparatory lines. Okay, we're gonna add some finishing touches. So we're just gonna add some shadow underneath these horn areas. So I'm just going to colour this in in black. And the same on this side. Now 
There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit more shadow in here. And the same here. Just like that. I'm going to add a bit of shadow underneath the eyes, just here. And a little bit here. And also down here. Going to add some whiskers. Just like so. And then we're going to add a line just coming round here. And another one on this side. And then just to show that there's some fur in the middle. A bit more of the fur here. More of the fur here. And then we're just going to draw some lines just going round like this, just to show that it's curved. Same on this side. And here we have our finished bull's head. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider hitting subscribe and like. And if you've enjoyed this one, you're really going to like how to draw a lion's head, which is just here. So click on the link now. Bye.